With the right settings, Plater is one of the strongest add-ons in Mythic Plus, giving you the ability to select the right targets, land more interrupts, and even avoid key depleting deaths. Today, we're going to walk you through our brand new Plater profile and show you where you can download it right now absolutely free. And finally, we will give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to effectively use this god tier add-on for your own keys. And after this video is over, be sure to check out skillcap.com where we've just added a brand new course. We worked with Echo's very own Miraz to produce exclusive guides for Season 3 Dungeons where you can learn expert level tips from one of the best players of all time in a new series that is almost 3 hours long and filled with information you need to climb. When you combine this with our growing library of class courses, you have everything you need to hit your rating goals. As always, we continue to offer a rank up guarantee where we promise that you will gain at least 500 IO score while using our guides. So after this video, visit the links below with an exclusive discount code to sign up for skillcap.com today. Anyway, back to the video. First up, we have some very important information, so be sure to pay attention as we show you everything that's changed since our last video. To start, we've updated the colors of all nameplates for Season 3 mobs. The different colors represent unique attributes for every NPC. A white nameplate means a mob is a priority target, typically one that is exceptionally dangerous and has high HP. Next are blue nameplates, which are simple casters with spells that you should be interrupting, but be sure to pay attention because pink nameplates are also casters, with the difference being that these mobs have very important spells that you absolutely need to stop. Then any chocolate or brown colored nameplates represent mobs that have uninterruptible casts that need to be stopped with other forms of CC. Finally, anything else will typically be red. As always, if you want to change the colors of any mob, you can simply do so within the dungeon itself using the drop down menu or just go down the list and change any mob one by one if you don't like the colors we've included in our profile. We've also changed the location of debuffs to the right side of the frame, while adding a mod that creates a border anytime a debuff can be refreshed while benefiting from the pandemic mechanic. And as a very important note, we currently have buff tracking set to manual, so you will need to add any important debuffs you want to track in this tab. By shifting our debuffs to the right, we accomplished a few things. For one, it avoids clutter at the top of the frame, which is now used for cooldown tracking on the left side using a weak aura from mirrors, and a special buff or debuff tracking on the right, which is built into Plater itself. Any crowd control, dispellable buff, or enrage will automatically appear in this section unless you deselect any of these options. By putting most of the information on the top and right, we've also modified the look of the cast bars, with spell icons appearing on the left side, while adding a mod that changes the color of the cast bar depending on a few conditions, like whether or not your kick is ready or if it will be ready mid-cast, and finally a separate color for when you are out of range for an interrupt. If you want to see more about how to customize other settings within Plater, be sure to check out our original video from Season 2. Now though, let's dive deeper on how to use Plater in your runs, starting with what to do pre-pull. Step 1 is to identify any priority targets, like this Colossus mob who will have a white colored nameplate. Then look for any important casters which are color coded in pink. Here we've set the confessor to our focus target which has now changed the texture of the nameplate. Now we will need to assess any other targets like any other casters in blue and regular mobs in red. By doing all this you can go into the pull with vital information, especially on who to target and as you can see here our DK is correctly hitting the keeper mob since it is color coded in white. And once again, if there are any pink nameplates in your pack, then they could then become the priority target, especially if they chain cast and require multiple interrupts. Even if you aren't using our profile, you should get in the habit of pre-marking dangerous casters, which is exactly what Stove does here, focusing the confessor in advance, and that way he doesn't have to sift through a wall of nameplates mid-pull and struggle to find a target to interrupt. Finally, be on the lookout for any brown colored nameplates, because if you see these, then you know the mob has a cast that can only be stopped with other forms of CC, like a stun, disorient, or incapacitate. Once you've done all your pre-pull work, you need to pay attention to some important pieces of information. First up, you will obviously need to monitor cast bars, reacting accordingly to the color of the cast itself. If you can see the cast bar is gray, you know it cannot be interrupted by you no matter what, but if it's yellow, that means you will be able to kick it. If you see the cast bar go blue, it means it is a cast you could kick, but your interrupt is currently on CD. And if you ever see a cast bar is purple, that means your kick will come back on CD mid-cast, which means it can be stopped. While this is happening, you should also be monitoring spell CDs. If you see a glowing border, you know an ability is ready and will be used soon, which could signal that a personal might be needed to survive incoming damage. And would you look at that, another boomkin who doesn't use bark skin. These cooldowns are tracked with a separate weak aura that we will also include a link to within our profile. 
Finally, assuming you are ready for casts and know the cooldowns of any upcoming abilities, be sure to just double check that you are targeting the right priority mob, while also monitoring your important debuffs on the target, especially if you are a maintenance heavy spec. If you want to import our profile right now, then head over to our Discord, where you can find strings for both Plater and the Mirror's weak aura that goes with it. And if you're looking to rank up in the new year, be sure to check out skillcap.com using the links below, where you can watch all of our amazing class courses and dungeon guides, and learn more about our rank up guarantee, which promises you will gain at least 500 IO while using our guides. As always though, we want to thank you all for watching, we hope you all had a great holiday season, see you soon.